Hey, this is Dr. A here to activate your day. Listen, there is a thought that I have been kind of on my mind for the past few days now. And I want to say this. You need to expand your knowledge, not just increase it. There is a difference. Um, someone may say, oh, it's so many things I know, so many things I'm learning. I'm learning this, I'm learning that. But I want you to know that when you begin to expand your knowledge, there's a difference between expanding your knowledge and increasing your knowledge. Let me just kind of put it to you this way. To expand literally means to take something you already know and to stretch it and increase it, uh, increase it to the point of increase the, um, the range of what you know about it. For instance, um, cooking. All right. I, there's a little bit I know about cooking. Um, I know that, you know, if you turn the stove on and you're boiling water, uh, you can't just leave the pot there because the water will eventually boil out and you can burn up the pot. Um, how do I know that? Did I know that when I was born? No. Over time, my knowledge of boiling, uh, on the stove increased the range of it increased. It, I began to expand because first I had to learn about that you can boil water. I never forget, never forgot. I was um, a little little kid um, during the time I think it was Easter time, and my mom had said we're going to boil the eggs, and I was so excited about the process of the Easter eggs because it was, you know, it was colorful and then you got a chance to hunt for it and all of that. Stuff. And then you got a chance to eat it. I just loved Easter eggs during that time. But the, the point was I learned about seeing the water boil and I couldn't wait to, for the, when do you know the water is boiling? And she said, when you see the bubbling, that's when you know it's boiling. Now that's some good knowledge. Okay. But as time began to go on and life goes on, my knowledge of that information of boiling expanded because I got a chance to see what happens when you continue to let that water boil. It eventually the water decreases in the pot. And I kept saying, why is it going down? Why is it going down? What's going on? So if you don't uh, uh, increase or I shouldn't say increase, expand what you already know, you will be limited of what you know. Why is this important? Because in in this time, in this season, specifically in my life, and I believe that I need to share this, um, we need to take what we already know. Don't toss it away. I don't care how long ago you've learned it. Expand. Um you have the ability to expand, to stretch out that range. If you say, I know, for instance, I just mentioned about cooking. This is what I know about it. Let's learn a little bit more about that. I already know about marketing. I already know about it. Well, why don't you expand Okay, because you may know about marketing in this particular area or this particular method, but you may not know about marketing in another area or in another method. Or you may not know that there is a way that you can get someone else to do the same marketing skills for pennies on a dollar. That is something that is interesting and something as a business person you need to know. Um, uh, even relationships expand while I've been knowing I've been with my partner. I've been with my husband. I've been with my wife for 15 years. I I know how she is. I know how he is, honey, because they are an individual and they are growing. You need to expand or allow your knowledge to expand because they're growing. Your knowledge of who they are should be growing. And that is important because guess what? They're growing and you should be growing. So the relationship is going to 
change is going to expand. And that's the key thing. If both partners allow themselves to expand their knowledge of, first of all, who they are, who they are becoming, and then who they are becoming together as a couple, it will it will lighten the load because most of the time the issue with relationships staying together is the key thing you hear from each partner, at least that I hear when I'm counseling is, you know, he's changed or I've changed. Yeah, that's going to happen because you and you, and you are an individual. You're going to grow. That's going to happen. But are you allowing expansion to come into the place? Or are you trying to switch over to increase? Now, let me just share the difference uh, that I consider. When you expand your knowledge on something, you take what you already know and you allow it to develop a, a longer range of understanding that particular topic or process or uh, uh, interest. But when you do say, I'm going to increase or I'm going to get knowledge on something else, really what you're saying is that I don't have anything in my pot or in my brain that will connect me to this topic. For instance, um, say for instance, you want to get the, the knowledge of, um, learning a new language. Okay. Um, maybe your original language is English and maybe you want to learn a, uh, foreign language, such as, let's just say, Portuguese. And in your brain, you're saying, I don't have any idea about Portuguese. I don't know anything about Portuguese. There's no way I, I have to totally, oh, try to learn a new language. Oh, no. And you get so frustrated. Oh, how can I learn a new language? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, my gosh, you have to learn a new language. But guess what? Is it possible that within your same brain, within your knowledge bank, there is something that connects to learning a new language? What are you saying? What I'm saying is this. A lot of times we tell ourselves because that seems so far-fetched to try to learn Mandarin or Chinese or Russia or, or Russian or something like that. And we're like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. But guess what? If you are an adult that is at, not even adult, if you're at least 15 years, you've been on this earth at least 15 years, you've had to learn something you've never known before. There's a word call or w- what we're saying now is a uh, coronavirus. What do you mean? That's English. But it's, is it really English? It's a language you never heard of. Pandemic. Uh, is when everybody, and you kind of like think you know what it is, but when you live through it, it makes a big difference. You're learning a language you didn't even realize. COVID-19, that's supposed to be the name of the particular virus that has attacked this world, not just this country, but this whole world. So if you are at least 15 years or up, you're going to recognize those words. And those words have been imparted into your knowledge bank. Your knowledge bank had to be expanded. Words we've never used before, words we've never, not just used, we didn't even uh, phantom it in our, in our psyche. Um, the whole thing we do that with, with that, we do that with, with slang words. Um, um, I, I'm trying to think of slang words now, but we do that so often. Google it. There's not, uh, you know, well, more, more than 15 years ago, Google is now considered to be a verb. <laughs> the word Google is now considered to be a verb. It's a new, it's part of a, a new language. We've done this so much. Oh, is there an app for that? 
app. What is an app? We've taken things that are abbreviations and changed them into words. And now it's, it's, it's part of the language we put in. What am I saying? Because all the time we are learning new things and new ways to say things all the time. That's a new language. So that's the same thing. Sac passe. That's the same thing. I just I just said something in in Creole. That's that's another language. How do how do you learn a new language? The same way you had to learn the new language in anything else. You take your time, you listen, and you connect it with the subject area and with the topic and the interest. And it makes sense. I heard two people speaking one day. One person said, Sac passe. The other person said, Naboule. And I said, Hmm, that sounds familiar. And then I heard someone say, Que paso? And the other person said, Bini tu? I said, Okay. That person did that. Then I heard someone say, hey, what's up? The other person said, not much. Then I connected. Oh, they're all saying the same thing. Just saying it differently. When you hear, and I'm not trying to teach, you know, how to speak languages. I I just happen to know a, a couple of them. But when you hear where they fit in, then you can make the connection of understanding. So expand your knowledge. If you always say, you know what? I always wanted to learn how to be an engineer, but I only got as far as maybe learning the electricity part of the ohms and amps. Let's just say that. Then who says you can't take it further? Just stretch it. It's like a rubber band and your brain does not age. Someone taught me this years ago. We think because our bodies age that our brain ages. Oh, our brain just can't remember things. It can't remember. No, it's just stuff in the way. Sometimes we get, we trying to increase so much stuff that has nothing to do and it has no connection. But if we can tap into what we already know and just expand our knowledge and not just trying to just get something brand new, just like I said, even if you want to get something brand new, connect it with what you already know. That way it becomes an expansion and not an increase. Hey, listen, this is Dr. A here to activate your day. Listen, I hope you got something out of this and I hope that you uh, can apply it to your life. Listen, I want you to follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. I am uh, uh, at Dr. A for you today on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube and Instagram. So listen, I want you to check out the different things that's got going on. A um, few months ago, I did a um, conference for Diva Moms, which means doing it vibrantly and and active and um, doing it vibrantly and um, amazingly. So this time we're we're getting ready to do our uh webinar on healthy, wealthy, and wise. I don't know if you remember that little uh poem uh you know to makes uh I can't remember the poem now. <laughs> I just went totally blank. But it's called Healthy, Wealthy and Wise, and we're going to be speaking about how to be healthy, how to be wealthy and how to be wise coming up very soon. And if you want to hear more about what's going on, I got a book out called More. It says, I am moving obstacles, rising to excellence. And uh, listen, for those who reach out to me, I want you to reach out to me. Hit me either on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, uh, or you can just, hey, just go straight to Dr. Angela Williams at gmail.com and just hit me there and I'll be happy to send you uh, some some great inserts 
from that book. And for those who contact me within uh, the first 10 people that contact me within the uh, first uh, three days now, we're doing a promotion. Um, We will be sending out a free copy, a free paperback copy of my book. I am moving obstacles and rising to excellence. It's called I am more and you can be more too. Listen, I want you to always, (laughs) always awake to a new beginning, awake to a new day, arise to a new beginning and activate your day. This is Dr. A. I love you to life. Bye-bye.